I just wanted to give a quick preview of the InfoQ website. Uh, it's a really uh, great site for enterprise uh, software developers or just software developers in general. It's really good articles and conference videos on this website. I don't remember exactly how I found it today, but I was, uh, you know, I was looking at uh, some development stuff, and I think I, I think I do exactly remember. Um, I was on Git Immersion going over some stuff that I had sent some of my coworkers, and then I looked at the company Neo, and they actually had their talks link on here, and that's the path I chose. And so I, I started, I clicked on one of these talks, it took me to another website, and then another one, and uh, eventually it led me to InfoQ. Now the great thing about InfoQ, it, it does have a lot of great interviews, um, videos from conferences, conference presentations, and um, tutorials, and a lot of good, good, just really good things to keep you up to date as to what's going on in the uh, enterprise software development arena. Um, say, for instance, uh, we wanted to wanted to go jump into some HTML5 stuff. Um, You'll see like the latest feature content typically is how they put it on here. Um, and then uh, you can go further down, do some research items about it, news about it. And these are just some, some little uh, things that they picked out. But there's there's tons of more uh, things on here for you to, to look at. So say we went into this article by James Ward. And uh, instantly you see a bunch of sections that are featured that this one would fall underneath uh, as far as its topics, um, more research and related things. Then at the bottom, <coughs> cool thing is you have some things you may like that might be related to it. This is an interview. Um, this is like one of the presentations. You can tell it's like a video presentation. Even the interviews. Uh, on there, so and the good thing is they have videos of of all a, a lot of stuff, the interviews and the presentations, and you know transcripts to go along with the interviews and things like that. So also slides that match these little mark in the video. So um, a lot of times on there, it'll it'll take you ahead to where that is. So. You know, if we skip ahead in there, this is highlighted and showing you. That's what he's saying at that point. You can expand it uh, to further. Um, same thing with the presentations on here, too. Um, say if we just go back to JavaScript on here. And we wanted to look at news on the Twitter Bootstrap ecosystem. Tons of other links on here. But... Um, Say there was a presentation on here that kind of caught your eye. <clears throat> I like this. They say this mobile HTML HTML5 presentation. And the cool thing is, they typically have the videos set up here for the presentation. And get that going. These little marks uh, correspond to the slides below, right? But the cool thing is, you can do it, uh, set it up to go horizontal, and have the slides next to it like this. So say if I skip ahead in here, um, I'm going to be able to, the slide will change to match his presentation. So that's a, a cool thing that I haven't really seen on a lot of sites where you actually get the presenter and the slides to go along with the presentation um, being changed as the presentation goes on um, and being also being able to look at those at the same time. I think it's a, a really uh, great feature. Um, you can search for different conferences in here and um, find videos from that conference in particular. Um, and it's just a really great site for, for developers to kind of, you know, stay on top of their game. And that's uh, InfoQ.